Hey everyone, Force Freestar here. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to enable Secure Boot on your Windows 11 computer. So let's get started. First thing you're going to do is go into search here and then search for settings. And then open up the settings app. Now from your settings app, we're going to scroll down to see Windows Update. You're going to click on that. And from here on in the Windows Update, you're going to go down a little bit further under Advanced Options. And then in advanced option, we're going to go down a little bit further in recovery or look for advanced startup. So you're going to click on there. And then from there on, we're going to see option that says advanced startup. And we're going to click on restart and then restart. And that's going to go ahead and restart your computer with the advanced options. So just wait for it to restart. All right, so once it's restarted, you're going to go ahead and find Troubleshoot or see Advanced Options. So you're going to go ahead and enter and then click on Advanced Options. Now I'm using my arrow keys here to navigate. So we're going to go ahead and arrow over to UEFI Firmware Settings. So you're going to go ahead and click on Enter. And then we need to do one more restart. So go ahead and restart the computer one more time. And once you restart, you're going to basically be in a setup utility. Now, depending on the model that you have, it's going to look like this or something slightly different, but it will have different options here, either tab or different scroll options. So what you can do is use your keyboard. You're going to go ahead into usually in the security section, you'll see the secure boot mode. So you want to go ahead and change that. For this computer, for example, I need to set a, a supervisor code. So I'm just entering that like a one, two, three, four, and then I'm just gonna go ahead and enter and then save and okay. And then I can scroll down here and go ahead and change the uh, boot option from basically if it's disabled to enabled here. So that's how you'll be able to do it. And then there's additional settings as well that you can go ahead and change according to what you're looking to do and you can read through it uh, and you should be able to enable it. But that's how you do it. After that, all you're gonna do is basically exit out of it, either hitting escape or you want to do one of this, for example, F10 here, save and exit. So that way it's saved and it'll reboot again in secure boot mode. So that's how you would do it. I hope this video was helpful. So please consider a like and subscribe button for more tips and tricks. We'll see you guys next time.